Hello guys and welcome, it's Engineering Rebel and in this video we are going to install the timing belt along with its pulleys. So let's begin. Before we put the timing belt, we need to install two pulleys. The first one is the idler pulley and it would go over here and the second one is the fan pulley which is this one and it would go in the middle. So when installing the idler pulley which is this piece, you have to make sure this part with the little ring around it is facing out. So I made sure that I did that and you could see the pulley is doing its job by spinning. So your timing belt would go like this and then you would have your fan pulley over here and then it'd go like that, kind of like this. So now we have to move on to the fan pulley and I have to put these two bearings over here onto this little piece. So I made this little piece, you could see how it is both bearings on either side. Now I got to attach it to this pulley. So I put that piece into the fan pulley and I needed to do it off camera because it was quite tough. So I needed to use a hammer. Now we're ready to install the timing belt. So we would first put in the belt. And once we've taken the slack, we would put in the fan pulley. Something to note here is that there are two dots on the camshaft gear and the crankshaft pulley. Now you want to make sure that these two dots are pointing downwards. So like the camshaft uh, would fall in between the intake and the exhaust stroke and the crankshaft pulley, this little dot needs to be facing downwards. So this is a very critical step and if you get it wrong, you might potentially end up damaging the engine because this is the part where the stroke of the piston needs to match the exact timing of the opening and closing of the valve. So this is a very critical step. As you guys can see, the timing belt is finally finished. Both of the dots are facing downwards and if I turn the crankshaft, you'll see how the timing belt controls the rocker arms. So the camshaft would be turning. You can see how that little arm pushes the intake rocker arm to open and close the valves. And I have to admit it's working beautifully and we would have the fan blades here, but that's going to be towards the end because I still have to build a carburetor and it's going to get in the way. And also because it's very delicate and I don't want to break it. But you could see that it's turning. So this would cool down your engine and it has these little channels. Yeah, it's working beautifully. There is no restrictions. It's controlling the rocker arms with ease and... Yeah, it's working absolutely like how it should. Well, that wraps it up for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am very impressed on the progress that is being made on this engine. And I just cannot wait for it to all be done so we get to run it using the nitro fuel. And I'm sure that this engine will have a wonderful future because I have so many plans for it. So again, stay in tuned. And yeah, thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.